Welcome to another episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Roulette. In this series, MBT and I each spin a wheel featuring every secret pack in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Rule. We then build decks using only 20 of those secret packs before playing a match to determine that episode's winner. The winner of each episode gets to decide if they want the first or second secret pack from the wheel during the next episode, but they must choose before seeing what the second spin lands on. Tune in every Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern for more episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Roulette. Welcome to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Saga. In this series, I duel against Farfa each... Wait a second, this is Master Roulette. Welcome to Master Roulette. Uh, who won last week? You did. You won. It was uh, an incredible this is display. Master Roulette? <laughs> Wait a I, I second. Thought, didn't, didn't I play Farfa on the last episode of this, or was that another Master Duel? Oh shit, you're right. No, it's too confusing. This is my yeah, multiverse yeah, yeah, yeah. of madness. Um, how many outdated references can I throw <laughs> in one intro? Uh, so you won last episode, so this is your first spin. Here we go. That was some BS last week, if I do say so myself. Some uh, one extra deck shenanigans. Fiendish, Fiendish encounter? encounter? I'll just how let you look at that. Up, I'll right? be taking Fiendish Encounter. What is Fiendish Encounter? Fiendish Encounter is Magical Musketeer and, and BA. Burning yeah. Abyss. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Yep, two, that's two pretty good. They're that's okay. not bad. Let's uh let's spin it for me. Um let's see what I get. The cost of dark powers. What does that oh, even please mean? be like <laughs> Some stupid anime deck. <laughs> this is some oh lore. no! This what is, is it? Suck. What is it? What it's is it? Evil Eye and Arch Fiend. Okay, the so the thing about those suck, ones are that is... the Evil Eye cards are very good in sealed. I would have to read them though, but that's kind of part of the fun. So yeah, I'll take that one. I'll take that one. There's no way I'm gonna waste uh, respinning on that. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Good luck to you too. <laughs> I remember the free pull doesn't count, so I'm sure we're gonna get something crazy here. Why not? Ten packs of fiendish encounters starting now, and only one homosexual pack. That's okay. A lot to talk about in this one. Um, Malcoda is actually a direction that we could go uh, if we pull the ritual spell. Uh, do like magical musketeer wild is that? Gotems. That guy sucks. Oh, Cypher Soldier is really, really good in Limited. Is Doug set Warriors? Desperado, that's so important. Uh, this is a rare, so we could have conceivably not pulled it. Why was that yellow? There was nothing in it. Yeah. What is with these yellow sets with one rare in them? There we go. Not from the set, though. That was wrong. Oh my god, Foxy Tune. I'll need that for later. Okay, that's a really good hit. As is last stand. Wow, two strong ones. We might play Brotar. There's good and evil. That's good. Second seer. Uh, we're really looking for muskets. Need some more muskets here. Ooh, wow. If that's max, we win. There's only four ultras in here. If that's max, we win. Here we go. Ready? Oh! <laughs> oh, it really came out. Oh, four, four decent ones. Here we go. Ready? No, we're not playing that. That's a lot of dust. Uh, can I get some fucking musket monsters, please? That's cool, but I don't know how I'm gonna get to her. Last one here, uh, really just need some commons. Just some uh, some magical musketeer commons. Or or supers, I'll take supers. Apprentice Illusion, good card, good card. Oh! I, it's unreal. I've pulled like maybe a dozen royals in this series. Maybe a dozen. Doug playing this on a secondary account, what a fool. Also, the Starfire! Insane! Farfa? 
and Skarm. This was an this was an unbelievable pack. Oh my god, look at that. This is like the best pack I've ever opened in my life. Okay, first 10 packs here. I actually think that the Archfiend cards are going to be quite good in a sealed environment. They are both very low rarity and also have some recursive effects. Two pretty good combinations for uh, sealed only strategies. Looks like a couple ultra rares here and a number of super rares. Last time I uh, counted very badly, so uh, I won't count again. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> What a first pack. Okay, we have Gorgon Empress of the Evil Eyed out of the first pack there. We have Evil Eyed Domain, uh, the first copy in that first pack. And we have the bad equip spell or the worst equip spell, I'm pretty sure. We also have Falling Down, insane first four cards out of the pack there. And we had Worm X. So if we see a Jaegen, we can go for that. Oh my gosh, a Sergio out of the second pack. Now remember, I do not know what the Evil Eye cards really do. I mean, what else is new? But I really don't know what they do. Oh my gosh, a second copy of the field spell. <laughs> this is already going better than like our entire last opening in the previous episode. What you call the worst equip spells of Searcher? Is it really? Okay. I'm here to learn about Evil Eye. Oh my gosh, a third copy. <laughs> or wait, no wait. Do we have two of this and two Serzial, or do we already have three of this? I don't even know. This card's crazy, by the way. Call the Archfiend. I want three copies of this for sure. You just discard a Fiend monster to bring back a level five or higher Fiend monster in your graveyard. It's so good. I mean, yeah, I wish it was Call the Haunted, but this is sealed only. What can you expect? Not everything is in the packs. Although, Call the Haunted out of Master Pack. Is that even in there? I don't know. Fine out. War Rock. Archfiend Calvary. That's a good card, too. Archfiend uh, Pally Labyrinth or Palabyrinth. I don't know how it's pronounced. This card's pretty good as well. More copies of that would be great. Honestly, I might consider playing Archfiend General too, but that might be a little bit crazy. <laughs> Master King Archfiend. Evil Eye Retribution. Not bad. Not bad at all. Just uh, negate. Always will take negation traps. Checkmate. Evil Eye Defeat. That's not bad, right? Against BA, this card's crazy, I think. Also, shout out to Coder <laughs> playing this Earthbound Immortal in Flunderies. Um, third copy. Personal spoofing broken. <laughs> third copy of Calvary, by the way. Two hollows. Evil Eye Memory. Oh my Oh, okay. So this is so not bad, but I think that we really need Celine to have like a playable deck here. Typhoon, not terrible, although pretty bad against uh Musket BA. My only hope here is that he got like half of muskets and half of BA and not enough to actually combine them. Another War Rock card, by the way. Bought two copies of this. Is this even good? Seems pretty good to me. These pulls are pretty crazy. All right, 10 more packs. I guess we're looking for a Dante. Like a Dante would be really good. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I mean, let's... <laughs> First movement solo, you shouldn't have. Kid Brave, double Kid Brave. Thank you so much. Oh, that solves our musket problem. In the, Not from the set. Come on. Rubik, that's good. Kagna. Steady hands. Sure. Reficule. Okay. All right, we're looking for one Dante. Yeah, sure. Ask. And ye shall receive. I uh, just need a couple more muskets, please. Like to see cross dom. That ain't bad. <laughs> I mean, maybe. This was a gay pack, and this is looking a little bi-curious. It's MBT. Wow, that's pretty pretty on uh, brand, I gotta say. Where's Crossdom? 
Stop. Oh, you. We pulled every UR from this set. We pulled every UR from this set. That's unbelievable. All four. We pulled every single one. <laughs> this was a gay pack, too. So one of these is also a hidden UR. Calamity. Calamity not from the set? Awesome. Oh, the best one. Okay, sure. Oh, okay. We might actually play Zachiel. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck to talk. <laughs> okay, 10 more packs here. We are looking to pull Archfiend Eris would be pretty good, but more importantly, we're looking for Evil Eye Selene and then also the Archfiend Emperor. Those are two pretty important cards, but Eris would be nice to pull as well. Let's see what we get here. If we don't pull Selene, this is going to be an awkward episode. Still playable. Oh gosh. Okay. Only uh, two supers and two ultras. Maybe the ultras are good. We'll see. Uh, okay. Like, that Archfiend Emperor is only a rare, so it shouldn't be too hard to pull. Formula. <gasps> Although we don't really have the uh, Evil Eye Extenders, right? Because we don't have Medusa. We do have, like, whatever that other one is, but... Hmm. <laughs> what the hell is this? Ultra Rare from the pack? Okay, second copy of that. Really need a Selene though. Getting a little bit worried here. Is there any justice? Can we please get a Selene? We need it to beat Joseph this week. Monster Gate. Oh, another copy of Master King. A lot of ultras in this poll, but geez, no Selene yet. I think we're out of hollows. We'll have one in the last pack. We're kind of like betting everything on that. Okay. Um, Archfiend Giant, not terrible. Infernity Guardian, I loved this card back in the day. Dino Rabbit had no outs to it. What are we working with? Oh gosh, okay. Will we get Selene as our uh, last card here? Maybe, maybe not. Damn it! Okay, so we don't have Selene. That's rough. But I think besides that, the pulls were not that bad. We did pull a lot of Ultras, we pulled a lot of Hollows, have a lot of commons and rares. Falling down is pretty crazy. We'll see what this looks like. It's going to be weird. So, I mean, uh, it's Burning Abyss, Magical Musket. We've got two Skarm, a Graph, a Triple Cheer, two Rubik, a Triple Alec, or Double Alec, rather, Calcab, Farfa, Triple Libic, Cagna, Draghi, Double Barbar, two Caspar, two Kid Brave, Ryo, one Starfire, two Calamity, two Wild, Apprentice Illusion, Mastermind, Mataion, Triple Steady, Triple Death Barado, uh, Last Stand, and a Dancing Needle. And the extra, we've got Double Virgil, uh, Beatrice, Dante, Double Max, Cherubini. I mean, seems nuts. Okay, so here is our deck list. A little bit rough around the edges because we don't have Celine, but we did the best that we could. Um, unfortunately, our Archfiend lineup is pretty bad, actually. We didn't pull any copies of Emperor or Eris, which does make playing this engine a little bit difficult. But we were out of monsters to play, so we had to play something, and uh, here's what we have. I think it looks fine. This card is really good against BA. That's probably one of our best cards in the deck. And we do have a pretty good extra deck with uh, two copies of Master King Archfiend and then two copies of Gorgon with one copy of whatever this one is. So we'll see how it goes, but I think it's going to be a tough episode. What's what's the percentage on yours? Uh, 24, my favorite. As in, I have 24% <laughs> to win? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so mine is 92% for me. Oh, no. <laughs> another Something 20 happened in your stream another 20 minute episode huh no i mean my polls were good in some ways well, almost 80 percent of your chat thinks you're about to dome me no no uh 24 oh, percent to win <laughs> yeah 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 all right okay good luck buddy um i'll go first i guess i'll try yeah, yeah sure i'll I go think first there are some scenarios where you can do this there is yeah, no, ugh, there is like one card that is pretty good that I could play. Ah, shit. <laughs> well, I mean, this does stuff. Yeah, I can do that play. That's kind of fun. Sure. Normal summon. Okay. 
Basilisk. That kind of sucks, but he does send... I guess we're going to get to see if you pulled Celine or Girgiano. Well, I'm going to send this card. Okay. I don't know if that necessarily that gives Gear anything Giano. away. <laughs> Maybe I just wanted that one in the grave. Um, and then I get rid of this. Okay. Then I add this. Parad Paradolia. Man, I thought you'd be more impressed with the fact that this is the fastest I've ever clicked through a combo. We walked through this combo a few times Adip before Lepis. the game. <laughs> Alright, we go uh, Paradolia like here. Is, yeah. We grab, did you pull the ultra rare? Let's see it. Fuck, I'm just grabbing this for next turn. Fuck you guys. Okay, we did pull it. All we right, let's go. We did pull that. Wait, this guy's an on-field effect? Um, oh, cool. Haha! -ha! Activate! Oh, we really out here reading. Yeah. Um, and then I could make this, which is really funny, but I, th <laughs> I think I should probably just make this one, which is good. Summit! Oh, Gorgon! Gorgon. Okay. All right. Set one pass. That's not okay. bad. I did not lose card advantage. I actually gained card advantage, technically, so I'm feeling pretty good. All right. Uh, Rubik? Oh, fuck you, dude. Like, I, I know that Virgil's like a common. <laughs> I know that Fire Lake is like a rare. <laughs> oh, man. It's so weird. Cheer. I just feel like... Um, oh, activating Seer. Okay. I just really feel like that uh, they just didn't ready? design these packs around Roulette and Saga, which is really disappointing. Yeah, I'm ready. We're, we're just we're just not even going into Virgil. <sighs> we're just Dante. straight up making Dante. Yeah, not bad. Anyway, activate Evil Eye Defeat. Ooh, cool, cool. You've bounced my Dante. <laughs> Right. You don't have well, two more BAs. Uh, no you, chance. You really <laughs> fucked me up here. I guess I'll have to normal summon Magical Musketeer Wild here. Okay. Uh, then I guess we'll make... You fucking... Magical Musketeer Max. Shit. I cannot believe your luck in these fucking episodes. I just... <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Haha! -ha! I only have one monster and one spell or trap card, so it's only a plus one. That's correct, yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess we could just make this guy. Come on, dude. Dante and... <laughs> oh, man. Well, you know, it is what it is. What's this guy? You just summon a level eight? Um, hey, is this card normally lad. played? You can show this card triple no, they don't usually play this card because... Uh, oh, okay. But it's not bad. Know, they, I can see odds. They don't usually get to play against bad evil eye. <laughs> <laughs> but if they did, they would play. Oh, God. Okay. Well, I don't have to play around Fire Lake. Oh, these cards are all terrible. True, true. They're so bad. Um. Yeah, let's go normal summon. That's fine. Let's activate the effect. Um, sure. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Not gonna let you have that. Ah, uh, yeah. Chat's going, Joseph, why did you set that card? None of these two have column effects, you dunderheads. <laughs> Okay, and then you'll draw one during your my end phase. Okay. Max has a column effect. Oh, he doesn't. He <laughs> does he doesn't. really? He doesn't. Oh, chatting. He doesn't. During Actual your... chatting. Yeah. He does no, not. he just can activate cards from your oh, hand like all of them. Oh, chat! You are testing my patience. <laughs> We're one turn in. Oh my gosh. That was an alright draw. Oh my gosh, dude! Magical musket, mastermind. Why is all the alliterations, Casey? <laughs> this guy's crazy, though. You're gonna normal kid brave here. Yeah, 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 kid brave. Yep. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm oh my god! Wrong column. I'm so stupid. Oh my god. Okay. No problem. Oh, you did it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Remember, Joe. Are you fucking kidding me? What, what's the issue? What's the problem? Are you what's what's wrong? Bro, I swear to God. <laughs> what's the uh, what's the issue? You come on to these shows. 
You disrespect me like this. <laughs> disrespect? Yeah, I guess that's fair. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, sure. Mm hmm. I'm gonna take a million damage off this. Dude, I'm waiting for you to have a fucking Beatrice or some shit. Or maybe I won't. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you're happy that as you're attacking my life points, you're also destroying the skyscraper city that you so love. <laughs> this is like the unluckiest shit I've ever seen, but yeah, I guess your guys are fiends too, so fuck me. <laughs> um, oh wait, all three monsters you control gain 400, 500 attack. Perfect, perfect. Okay, never punished. Um, let's go. So I am at 22. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I want to hear the rest of this one. Um, let's go normal summon this guy. Archfiend Calvary. Uh, okay. Yeah, you can pop it, but it will have a floating effect. Broken. Uh, actually, hold up. If, I, if I'm reading this correctly, it floats into other Archfiends in the graveyard? Right. He noticed. <laughs> I see. Okay. Dude, uh, let, let's draw a card while we're here. Yeah, yeah, you can draw a card. <laughs> oh no! I gotta think hard about this one. Wait, what? The, why the BA die? <laughs> it's just a close one. Uh. Fuck. <laughs> and I think I played perfectly too, so. So, I'm noticing that the card that maybe would have given me some trouble, uh, Evil Eye of Serziel, seems to not be in your deck. Serziel? That one's in my deck. Celine might not. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but luckily, okay, well, that other Evil Eye equip spell, I don't know if you know this, Joseph, but while it's on the field, it's treated as Celine. So I don't, I don't even miss I'm, it. I don't even miss it. <laughs> really? Yeah. Um, oh, wait. This hand does stuff? Mine's nice. less good than previously. Yep. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, we send this. And then we go... Effect. Get rid of this. Yep. Add this. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I fit this. Add card from deck to hand. Add this. Honk shoe, honk shoe. Activate this. Man, like these cards seem really strong, but yeah, I, I, oh my gosh. Um, okay, and then, yeah, I like that Celine has an effect where it's like the card can't be destroyed or targeted or whatever and this one is just like bad acts of despair <laughs> yeah it's really encouraging okay <laughs> <laughs> there's no way this card is worth playing what? It just summoned two tokens. Did you see that? Did you miss okay, that? Okay, show me show me the next play. It's so stupid that to summon two tokens, <laughs> it requ <laughs> it requires <laughs> This is impossible without Celine. I'm just gonna tell you that. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. This is like looking impossible. I don't worry, Doug. I have faith in you. <laughs> okay. I think in hindsight, I don't know. What the fuck do I have a graveyard effect? Oh yeah, what does this do? Um, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Your opponent cannot target evil ice ball traps to control the card effects this turn. Okay, that's a great effect. That's gonna be really handy. Um, Cause this doesn't, see, <laughs> when you don't have both equip spells, I feel like you're supposed to, <laughs> it's just hard. Because they need like the noble arms re-equipping effect, but they don't have that because they assume that you have two equip spells, so it's fine. Yeah, yeah, go Alex. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. Fine. What's the overall record for this series now? I think we don't keep track because if we did, I would be too sad. Yeah. But it's probably like five to fifteen case, yeah. or something. <laughs> Just checking if I want to make Dante here. No, we're not gonna make Dante. What's the problem, dude? 
What's the issue? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's uh, let's send for cost here. Okay, chat. I see now. I should have. If I discarded this. Um... Yeah, I definitely should have kept the Evil Eye Defeat. I thought I was getting back there somehow, but I now see that I wasn't. So I should have maybe kept that instead of... I mean, it doesn't... I mean, it... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> MBT no. should only get 10 packs, I think. Yeah, let's try that for an episode. Um, okay, yeah, we'll see here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. It is, it is content. It is content, chat. We'll, er, for the content. For the content? Yep, there's Virgil. Discard Libic. Okay, but you already used Libic. Yep. Does anyone have the running royal rare count? What's the problem? It's it's not that bad. Um Oh my gosh. Sure. Dude, what the fuck were your <laughs> I they were, I'll tell you this, they were they were okay. They were like alright. <laughs> I'll tell you this, Joseph. If at the end of this series you reveal as like one final trick that this entire time you've been using your collection, but you've been like Nathan Fieldering <laughs> me, where I'm supposed to think that you actually are. You. Like you're building the decks bad been enough him the whole time. to where right. I would, wouldn't would guess other, I wouldn't suspect that they were from your actual collection, but secretly like every two episodes, you just like, eh, fuck it. I'll play Cherubini, Dante, tank, yeah. Max. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, mean, like, I would believe you, I would like believe you. <laughs> Like, this is a cool board, but it's also, like, zero points of interaction. Uh, until I make my last ultimate rare. What? Are you fucking kidding me? With level sixes? <laughs> how many, Joseph, how many cuts from the pack opening? Tell me right fucking now. <laughs> how many times did you reset? How many times did you reset? Dante. Uh, check. Okay, let, Royal let just, Rare. Check. Two copies of here. Max. <laughs> check. Cherubini. Check. Beatrice. <laughs> check. Enface Skarm. Well, of course you hit that. If you have a tour guide, <laughs> I'm ending the series. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I don't think tour guide is even in. I here. know, it's you would have had to pull it out of the master pack. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, what the fuck am I supposed to? Oh, perfect! I mean, just... The card you shuffled back with Virgil that wasn't useful. Oh, cool. <laughs> that the... I'm glad you drew it again. <laughs> that there's only one copy. <laughs> Are you sure you shuffled? You should check the log. <laughs> it's actually this. Oh, shit. Oh. Now Evil Eye Spell Trap to control <laughs> this up. turn can't be <laughs> targeted. <laughs> Maybe you just didn't pull Farfa. <laughs> it is a super. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what are the chances, Oh my dog? god. Um, what are the chances? None of these cards really do anything. Oh, I should have added... Uh, it's fine. I just get Farfa. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. You can still do it. <laughs> um, no, actually, I should have added the one that. Oh, but I wouldn't have had a guy to. Yeah, I mean, we'll yeah. do this, and I'll see if there would have been another line. But it wouldn't have mattered because I wouldn't have had a monster anyway. Cause none of these put monsters on the board. Yeah. Uh. Oh, it comes back though, so I can do this. 
true, very true. And the Beatrice is out of material, thank God. Mm -hmm. So we're good. And there's I think no other I'm... card on my field that can do anything. No, no, no I'm, I'm good here. We'll go Evil Eye Defeat. Ooh, Bounce okay. Cherubini. Okay. And then I think I'm just going to coast off this for a little while. Please pass for a few turns. And then... <laughs> I mean, I don't really know what I'm thinking we're doing here. Uh, we could normal summon this card. This seems okay. Wait, what? Why the BA die? <laughs> Did I already make this joke? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Dude, this shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you have a Zeus? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you, knowing you, you have like Gaia Charger Zeus. Like. <laughs> <laughs> and they're both royals, yeah. Oh my gosh. If this is Fire Lake, <laughs> Joseph. It, I couldn't even activate Fire Lake. I don't have two guys. Oh, right, right. Sorry, I was thinking Fire Lake was Icarus Attack. Oh, this is a great draw, by the way. Great draw. Um, okay, so let's activate this. Okay. See, that's a, that's pretty good. Wait. Equip only to Actually, a monster you control. Oh, only equip a monster to I control. Yep. Okay. <laughs> right, let's see what let's see what we get off the top. Uh, oh my gosh. That's actually kind of crusty because uh, you've got back row, which means I can even resolve max for a couple here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so let's go max CL one, right? And then we'll grab mm -hmm. monsters. Uh, you know, let's just let that resolve. We'll get Caspar here, and I probably want Starfire here. So we'll go Caspar like this, mm -hmm. Starfire here. Right. And we'll go uh, Desperado in the Caspar zone. Uh, we'll go for the Peridolia here. Uh, we're going to trigger Caspar. Uh, I think we probably need to get... Oh, optional effect? Though? I don't know what's happening. Let's do oh, it. Oh, we're chilling. Does it revive it? No, why yeah, would it? God idea. forbid it. <laughs> why, why, why would it? I mean. <laughs> not, not that it would have done anything anyway. But. Uh, so Caspar resolves. Let's grab. Uh, what, did, what did I say? Dancing Needle? Yeah. Go Dancing Needle here. Uh, let's go Dancing Needle in the Starfire column. We'll banish uh, yours. Oh, right, just to uh, make sure I don't get any recovery there. Good good idea. Right. Uh, and don't worry, we are going to trigger Starfire here. Uh, we're going to go grab Kid Brave. And now that we have two threes on our side of the field, uh, we can go into Dante. Okay, so I did just... Um... <laughs> I did and just want to we... double check that both uh, Starfire and Casper are, in fact, super rare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we yeah. drew everything. Oh, you have uh, a we'll, Medion you know in there? Yeah, there's a Medion in the deck. Oh, my uh, gosh. Let's just make the other Max here. Yeah. This was a close one, Doug. This could have gone either way, I feel. Yeah, yeah, I feel like it was, like, man, this close to being the other way. I'm actually surprised 24% of people thought you could take this. This was, <laughs> even after seeing you didn't pull Celine. Oh, no. What a fucking disaster. <laughs>